Okay, I debated about this, but basically what we have here is we're in Tamel, and they're doing what's called a continuous pour of concrete for new construction to replace something which I presume was damaged in the earthquake. And first, you see that they dumped the gravel here and they're using a very interesting technique of two-person shoveling that you just normally don't see. I mean, I admit, I've done a lot of shoveling in my life and I've never, prior to coming to Nepal, I never saw anybody do this, this way. The majority of people portering the stuff are women. They've got the gravel here. Now, while they're supporting the ceiling, that's what all these posts are for. I come around the corner and I realize that what they're doing is they're mixing the cement in the cement mixer. And so that means they're carrying bags of concrete plus the um, gravel we saw plus the sand and here's the so concrete is gravel sand and uh, concrete mix I think I would last about 10 minutes doing this job. I think I could do two trips. That would be it. Sometimes when you see them doing this, what they're doing is they'll actually have a uh, bucket brigade handing pans up. But that's not what they're doing this time. All right, they're going to dump it. They're going to mix it. They've got the crew waiting. Alright. And in the meantime, I've got this guy trying to sell me a sarangi. It's beautiful, but I already have one. Yeah. Chang Chadaina. So now here's what happens. They're mixing it. They're going to bring it up there. up there they're gonna dump it and in the meantime these guys are loading the next thing here in the west this would be done with a uh, concrete truck carrying nine cubic yards at a time now what's going to happen is they've got that entire second story to pour it should be done in one big jump i could probably come back 10 hours later and they'll still be doing this uh, it's just amazing when you see the amount of manual labor that is involved here. And frankly, it's amazing to me to see men and women both. The one with the red bucket, that's a woman. All right, catch you later.